Hey y'all, welcome to another episode of Thrifting with Tony. I'm Tony and this is Thrifting with Tony. Today we're gonna go ahead and do a thrift store update and that's where I go ahead and give you an even deeper look at some of the stuff that we picked up together this week. Um, I said we were gonna go over the Nimaji pottery, um, also this elephant piece that I found and these two plates. So, first off, I just wanna thank everybody for subscribing and all our subscribers, thank you so much for being a part of our channel. And if you're new here, my name is Tony. I'm a part-time reseller and a stay-at-home dad of four. I started my business about two years ago and it's doing pretty well. I own a shop on Etsy called Pink Lemon Market, it has over 1,100 um, sales and um, over 200 reviews. I just do this part-time and for fun and we get to share all the cool stuff that we pick up. Um, today, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and give you some more information about Nimaji Pottery. This is the piece that we found together um, in Peoria uh, Wednesday. And we picked this up for 549 minus uh, 20%. And I told you guys that I do collect Nimaji Pottery and there is some history to this. So, uh, Nimaji Pottery, everyone thinks this is Southwest Pottery, but it's totally not. It's from Minnesota. Um, they would make the pottery in Minnesota and they would ship it down to um, the Southwest all over uh, here in Arizona, Utah. They would ship it down to Texas, New Mexico to souvenir shops. And that's how they would uh, sell it. Um, there were over 700 different molds. Um, the first original ones, they were handmade and then they were painted. Um, then they got 700, over 700 different uh, pottery molds and they would uh, mold them and then the, a painter would pick them up and they would put them in a large barrel, right? There was a barrel of water and they would get paint and throw the paint in there. And um, to get this little effect, they would put the paints a different color, dip them in and then swirl them as they pick them up and then they put them down to rest. So they all look, um, have this cool little effect to them um, and they all are unique because no uh, piece is the same because they would have to redo the paint and hand dip them themselves. So each individual uh, Nimanji piece is um, unique and on, on its own, there's no one the same. So I think that's really cool. Um, they don't go for very much. I'm, when I'm saying they don't, don't go for very much, um, they, you can pick up these, oh, well, let's go ahead and look online and then I can show you what I found, what they're selling for on eBay. All right, so I went to the sales section on eBay and I just put uh, Nimaji Pottery in and when we first look, we see these, um, huge amounts for them, $424.99, $300, $248, but if you look, there's a little line in between them, so that means that um, whoever bought these did not pay that full price that they send the seller an offer and the seller accepted it or they counter offer and they came to some type of agreement. So we can't even look at those. Um, but when I go down a little bit further, we do find these pieces. If you look, they're going for about $39, um, around $45 in shipping. And these are for the larger pieces around uh, 12 inches or so. Um, now we're gonna go down to something I think is more in our area. This piece right here um, for $24.99, that's where I think I would probably, you no, know, I'd probably list it a little bit higher, um, probably about $30. Uh, and I usually list my things a little bit higher than others. I have the reputation on my um, store where they know that they're gonna get their shit. So I, they, they're paying for the security and I'm an honest seller, so they have to pay for that. But I, that's where I would probably list it, probably around 30 to $45 is where I would list these pieces themselves and that's including shipping so um, that's what I would do but I do keep this pottery so I'm not gonna put these on my store and I just wanted to give you a little insight on, on them and th I love them so much and they're so fun and to look at I love the little um, swirls and stuff so that is Nimanji pottery and I really love them so Let's do the plates last. Uh, let's do uh, this 
elephant right here, this piece. So this is kind of funny. So I looked up, I know what the brand is because there's a sticker on the bottom, right? And it's a handmade piece because of the tag. But so I'm looking for this piece for the brand and I can't find it. So I take a picture of it and um, do a, a eBay search and I do find this exact piece. Well, I find it multiple times. They have it as Mojelica. This is from Three Hands, a corporation, and they're a California pottery company out of Silmore, California. And um, if you look at what they have this piece listed for, um, we go with the high of probably $140. And then we have a low over here for uh, $64.99. But check out that shipping, okay? Um, that's $54, so that still hits like around $125. So when I'm looking at that, and I check the sold, they don't have any sold. Um, when I, so when I check that, I see we have a piece here that's fluctuating um, between sellers. And, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and list this right there for $125. Um, I do offer free shipping in my store. I was gonna list this for $99 when I saw it and then so that's exactly where I would have probably landed it when I like envisioned it. Um, so I'm gonna put this store, uh, this store, this on my store for $125 in free shipping. And um, we'll see if someone will pick it up. I will put the right company on there, but since people, they give me an idea, I will use the hashtag of Majelica in the hashtag so people can see this and they might like this type of style as well. So they can go ahead and take a look at it. So that's what I would do with this piece. Now, let's... I'm done with my computer. I just had to get all my information for y'all because I didn't want to be dumb. <laughs> These pieces are so fun. So I knew, I did my research and I tried looking for them and I we talked about them. I love the nautical theme. We talked about the hashtags that I would use um, when listing these. But when I went to go look them up, I could not find the artist. The artist only signed capital N, capital B, 1978. So I knew I, there was a possibility I wouldn't know who the artist is, which is okay for me because I'm a list as Studio Pottery and um, hand painted an uh, artist unknown. And people will like it because one, it's unique. They're one of a kind and People love that stuff. Like who doesn't want like a, a beautiful one of a kind piece, right? So I'm gonna use those special has <laughs> those special hashtags. Um, and I'm gonna use the clipper ship and the nautical theme. And I'm gonna list these together for $99. And on my store with free shipping and see if we can get someone interested enough to purchase them for that amount. I think we could get that for both of them. Um, and I'm really excited about it. So if you find a piece that is, you know, one of a kind, handmade, you decide what you want to sell it for. Um, you know, of course, this one had other pieces where I can do comps on, opposed to these, I did not. So I feel $99 is a good price for these, and I picked them up for $349 each minus 20%, so there's plenty of wiggle room to even if someone sends me an offer for 80 bucks or 70 bucks. Fuck it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say hell yeah. Give me that money, okay? <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do with these pieces. I hope some of this information was so useful and helpful for you guys. Um, I'm really enjoying this because I get to find my pieces and I normally do like light research on these things. But um, when I do these videos, I can do more deeper research and I learn some more and I can share that with you guys. So I hope you enjoy these videos and I hope you go have a great Sunday and you go into a weekend with an abundance of positive energy. And thank you so much for supporting our channel. And as always, thank you for thrifting and I'll see you guys next week. Bye y'all. <laughs>